Hello friends, welcome back to your channel, Yugandhara Tarele, where we talk about civil and structural engineering topics. In the previous videos, we saw about all the basics about structural steel detailing from the manual detailing for steel construction by AISC and NIST. So, in the today's video, we will see about contract documents. So, let's get started. Motivation of the day. When you think, I can't do anymore, I need a break. That is the time to challenge yourself to keep going another 5 minutes. Those who persevere for even an extra 5 minutes are admirable. They will win in life. Written by Daisaku Ikeda. This is the contract documents and detailing process part 1 from chapter 2 page number 2.1 to 2.6 from the manual detailing for steel construction by AISC and NIST. Today's topic new project estimating and contract between the fabricator and the customer. Typically, the owner or owner's representative advertises in construction periodicals that the structure is proposed for construction and request bids. The advertisement describes the scope and location of the project and the date bids are due and gives the location of the project and the location where design drawings and specifications can be obtained by contractors for bidding. Interested contractors obtain set of design drawings and specifications for their own use and for distribution to subcontractors who are invited to bid to their general contractors on their portion of the work. Structural steel fabricator obtains a set of drawings and specifications pertaining to the portion of the project to which fabricator is interested. Then there is study of the contract documents and they prepare their own project data sheet such as modeling sequence of the project. If any more information is needed, they request to the owner for more information. Then they sub submit their prepared data sheet to the owner and receive comment as approved or rejected. Then after receiving the comment as approved, there is issue for fabrication and construction process. Actual construction starts. There is inspection by owner's representative and completion of the project. We will see elements of this process in detail in the next slides. When the project is advertised for bidding, the owner must provide sufficient information in the form of scope, structural design drawings, details, specifications and other descriptive data to enable the fabricator and erector to prepare bid. As the first step in preparing a bid to furnish structural steel for a given project at an agreed price, the fabricator's estimating department prepares a detailed list or takeoff of all the pertinent material shown in the design in the structural design drawings and determines the associated cost and labor where the basis of payment is a lump sum it is particularly important that this takeoff is accurate and complete the lump sum price covers a specific amount of work explicitly shown on the design drawings and covered in the project specification. The omission 
or addition of atoms may result in taking a contract at a loss or losing the contract. Another basis of payment is unit price. Frequently, this method is used when a design is incomplete or when additions and changes are expected. In unit price contract, the final calculated weight of the structural steel in pounds or tons multiplied by the bid price per pound or ton determine the total cost. Unit price payment is most common in industrial work. Occasionally, the basis for payment is the actual cost of material and all labor plus a percentage of this cost. It is termed as cost plus price. The estimator from past experience and with the aid of cost data from previous similar jobs determines the cost of preparing short drawings and fabricating the structural steel. Cost estimates are prepared either by first applying appropriate cost factors to the estimated steel weight or estimating the cost of preparing shop drawings from analyzing the quantity, sizes and shapes of pieces to be fabricated and making a complete and detailed analysis of shop cost. If the bidding fabricator has an in-house detailing group, the hierarchy is according to this figure. The estimator may request that the group create an estimate of the cost to produce shop drawings. On the other hand, if bidding fabricators rely on subcontract steel detailers to produce their shop drawings and if time permits, they may ask these steel detailers to prepare an estimate on the preparation of shop details and erection drawings. In addition, a cost analysis is prepared for the other construction bid items such as miscellaneous steel, joist, decking, erection, etc. when they are to be bid by the fabricator. If time permits, the subcontractors for these items may be invited by the fabricator to submit bids. Usually, the lowest price the estimator receives for producing shop and erection drawings and supplying any of the other construction items will be included in the fabricator's bid prices to the general contractor. However, sometimes the lowest price will be rejected for some reasons such as the bidder's inability to perform within the allotted time frame. The contract documents normally detail what the fabricator is to furnish, the delivery schedule and the manner and schedule by which fabricator will receive payment. Having won the contract, to furnish the items bid, a fabricator informs its winning subcontractors and sets its system of production controls into motion. As the first step, a contract number is assigned to the job and used to identify all shops and erection drawings, documents, raw material, and finish parts relating to the project. For reasons relating to price, delivery time or character of work involved, the project may be divided into multiple contracts. In such cases, a separate number is assigned to each contract. This establishes a separate identity for the work throughout the drafting, production, 
and erecting operations. In most shops, the sales department prepares an operating data sheet, sometimes referred to as a job data sheet, production order, or contract memorandum, similar to the form illustrated in the figure. As noted elsewhere in this manual, the arrangement and presentation of an operating data sheet will vary depending on the preference of the fabricator. The data usually lists basic information such as but not limited to project, customer, owner, structural engineer of record, architect, contract design drawings, contract specifications, location, and job number. This is the schedule of the work. It shows which work will be done on which date. For example, mail order will be placed on 06-12 and complete Fabrication will be completed on 9-15, etc. These are the contract documents in which drawings are given like S1 through S14 and dates and revisions. Specifications are given, sketches and supplements. It may briefly summarize information such as grades of steel to be used, type of paint required, if any, and type of surface preparation, type of field connections to be furnished, inspection required and by whom, agreed upon schedule for drawing submittals, fabrication, delivery, and duration of erection method of delivery of steel to the job site basis of payment any additional information needed to prepare shop drawings the requirement that certified copies of all meal test reports are to be furnished individual or company to whom shop drawings are to be submitted for approval scope of work and exclusions fabrication and shipment sequences or divisions of steel accepted deviations from design drawings and erection requirements such a contract provision establishes a commonly accepted and well-defined line between what is and what is not to be furnished under a contract for structural steel. Without such a provision, the contract would need to spell out in considerable detail what is expected of both parties to prevent a misunderstanding. In this video, we saw the system design build project in which the owner has single representative who takes the responsibility of both design and construction of the project. And then in the estimating, the contract type, lump sum, unit price, cost plus price. And when the contract is there between the fabricator and the customer, we saw the contract document called operating data sheet. For the content in the video, all credits are given to the AISC committee who prepared the manual detailing for steel construction. I am grateful to them. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to you all for being with me throughout this video. I am grateful for your support. Thank you so much. We will meet in the next video. If you find this video useful, then please share. It will help others. And subscribe to get notified about the new videos.